and, and working with the next generation of teachers. How can we change or, or create a different avenue other than the avenue that we have now? Because the current system is not designed for our children and it's not designed for them to be 21st century learners to prepare the next century. I'll, I'll give um, my point of view, which is that you have to change the individual's decisions. And what that means is that's electoral. And so everything feeds together that means the school board members. And it means the individuals who allocate funds who are most likely the legislature. And so, yes. <laughs> I mean, well, when you think about it, uh, uh, many schools get funding from the state. And many schools get funding from not, not just the state, but nationally. And many of the decisions, the school board makes some decisions as well. So all of that has to change. And I think that's part of the problem that we have now. In order for there to be a revolution, you have to change all of it. You have to change the mindset of everyone. Every one of those levels. Part of it is expected by the way the system is currently set up, this um, college and career readiness, it excludes many of those other items that many of our students need. It does not take into account that student that may not be going to traditional college. It doesn't take into account technical schools, those 22nd century values and ideas and things they need to learn, it doesn't take that into account. And it does start from the top. It does start from when you put an educational secretary in place with no educational experience, what they do. and when they're the ones leading to set the policies that are trickling down to the states, the states, and I can't just blame her because the policies put in place previously by the president I love and still love, his education secretary came from New York, who came from wherever. He should have stayed, he should have stayed in New York, but he should have stayed wherever he was. Because they didn't put policies in place from a position of a knowledge of best practices and what we need to make our students better and better prepared to exist and survive when they graduate. Okay? We're going to take one more point on this and then we're going to get to the next one. One more on the same subject.
Good afternoon, thank you. My name is Roxana Marishi. I'm the education chair of the San Jose Silicon Valley uh, NAACP. And it was our unit that uh, drafted and brought forth the resolution calling for moratorium on the expansion of charter schools. And nowhere in that resolution does it suggest to close charter schools. What it is saying is to stop the expansion of new charter schools because of the harm that we're seeing and where there might be a, a, a concern about the finances is that if it's causing financial distress to the district schools, that, that the districts should have an opportunity to be able to say, no, we're not gonna take on charter schools because we're gonna bankrupt our own district schools. So I just want to clarify that, that, that the resolution does not I'm sorry? I think it was the bills that you guys co-sponsored after you created the moratorium is what she's referring to that are uh, threatening the charter schools that are also performing well. I am also, an, right, so I think she's talking about the bills that uh, went through the legislature in California that then became harmful to the good public schools that were operating very well in raising our black student data at a phenomenal rate. So, so that's what she's knows, talking and about. I, and I think that the NAACP at the national level would know about the, or would be Right, so that's why they those. wouldn't know. So that's why I'm saying it's the co-sponsorship of the state NAACP to the bills that would hinder what, what she's talking about. That's what she's discussing. My understanding is that we co-sponsored the moratorium bill and that we are in support of the other accountability bills. So um, I, I do think that it's, it, we have to clean up and make sure that the, 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 the sector is not um, da doing damage to our public schools. There's a, a tremendous amount of, of, of funding that's lost to our public schools. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that and offer anyone else who has a comment about that. Thank you. It's not the same every region. My name is James Pitty. I'm a, a retired principal from McGeary from Indiana Community School, and I'm also on the elected school board since I've retired. In our city, we have only 85,000 people. We have more charter schools uh, in our city, in the state of Indiana, at that particular point. I understand that the teachers of the charter schools do not have to have a degree. Does not have to have a college degree. They have to have about 60 hours of college credits, okay? Another thing, a lot of these charter schools accept these students, they get the money, and then they put the students out. The public schools have to educate these young people. The money does not follow the kids. That has been my point. Charter schools will keep this money and they put those students out. The public schools have to educate those kids and the money does not follow the students. Now, what, they're public charter schools. They do that in New York. Let me share this. Okay. In the state of Michigan, they said each child. Every, if every um, state does something different, like California, the money follows the kids. Per year. In the state of Indiana, we so get eight thousand. That eight thousand dollars per student does not follow. You see where they are hurting the public schools, but yet still the public schools have to educate these students. So that, that moratorium calls for a moratorium on for-profit charter private uh, private charter schools. It does not call for a moratorium on all charter schools, but it does call, as have resolutions during the last decade, increasing, call for accountability for every charter school just as we demanded accountability for traditional schools.